chapter 6, Mishnah 5. In Mishnah 2, we learn that immersion may be performed in a vessel that is in a mikvah, even if the vessel is not undergoing tevila, provided that the water in the vessel is connected to the water in the mikvah by an opening the size of a leather bottle's tube. The Mishnah will discuss whether this size opening suffices even for vessels that are large enough to hold 40 sa. If a chest or a box is in the sea, we may not immerse objects in it unless it has a hole the size of the tube of a leather bottle connecting the water inside it to the sea. Another Tana has a stricter opinion regarding the size of the opening and requires a hole the size of either four tefachim or most of the height of the vessel, whichever is less. Rabbi Huda says, in the case of a large vessel, an opening of four tefachim is needed to make the water in it part of the mikvah. And in the case of a small vessel, most of its wall must be open to the mikvah. The Mishnah teaches that there is a type of vessel that requires no opening at all to be considered connected to the mikvah. If the container in the sea was a sack or a basket, one may immerse things in it as it is, i.e. even if it does not have any opening in it connecting the water inside it to the mikvah, because the water inside it is considered mixed with the mikvah's water even without a connecting hole. Sacks and baskets are different from other containers, in that they hold no water, since they are full of holes. Therefore, when they are inside a mikvah, the water in them is considered to be inside the mikvah itself. Thus, immersion may be performed in them even if they have no opening whatsoever connecting them to the mikvah. The Mishnah mentions another advantage of a sack and basket over other containers. If the sack or basket was placed under a pipe, they do not disqualify a mikvah that they empty into. The pipe is one that carries rainwater from a roof into a mikvah. The sack or basket was placed under the pipe's lower end to filter the water that runs out of it before it flows into the mikvah. Ordinarily, containers that are placed under a pipe disqualify the water they collect from being used for immersion because they make the water she'uven, see chapter 4, Mishnah 1. However, since the sack and basket are incapable of holding water, water that flows into them does not become she'uven and can be used for immersion. When a container that is being immersed in a mikvah is removed from it, any water inside the container becomes she'uven. If the mikvah contained exactly 40 sa'at to begin with, then if the water in the container were to be poured back into the mikvah, the mikvah would no longer be usable. Therefore, a Mishnah later, in chapter 7, Mishnah 6, says that in such a case, the container should be turned upside down before being lifted out of the mikvah, so that it does not disqualify any of the mikvah's water. Our Mishnah teaches that sacks and baskets have an advantage over other containers in this respect as well. We may even immerse sacks and baskets and lift them out of the mikvah in their usual way. Since sacks and baskets do not retain water, they do not make their contents shuvin. Accordingly, they do not have to be turned upside down when they are taken out of the mikvah.